Today I'm going to show you how to take an image from a regular image to a drawing that looks like it has been drawn on a crumpled piece of paper. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to need a new document and this new document needs to be, switch to inches here, 7.5 in width and 11 in height. So 7.5 inches in width, 11 inches in height, and 72 pixels per inch. RGB color is fine. And we're just going to go ahead and open this up and then place a portrait image, which you will need. And then you will also need a crumpled paper image. So I'm going to go ahead and place that as well. So paper that has been crumpled up and then flattened back out. Now, if you need to turn your placement, just hold down your shift key so that you get a nice, uh, perfect angled turn. And then you can hold your shift and option key as you size that up, as you scale that up. So now that I have this paper layer and then the portrait layer, I'm gonna call this portrait here, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the visibility for the paper layer and I am going to duplicate the portrait layer by hitting Command J. Now sometimes it's also good to do another duplication of all of your layers just to make sure that you have an extra if you mess up. So if you want to do that, you can do that as well, but really we only need two for this process. So we're going to go ahead and turn the visibility off on our top portrait layer. And we're going to go down to the bottom one here and create an adjustment layer on that. And the adjustment layer that we want is threshold. You can see it right here. Go ahead and click on that. And you'll see that this kind of creates this very high contrast black and white image of our person. And I'm just going to adjust this until I can see the features fairly well. And once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to go ahead and collapse it here. Now I'm going to do one more thing before I move on. I need to make this into a clipping mask so I can right click on it or control click and then select create clipping mask. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and go up to my portrait copy and I'm going to put another adjustment layer on here and this one's called Posterize. And it kind of works like threshold, only we're going to have more values than just that black and white. So po Posterize is going to give us you know, a limited amount of values, but you can actually take the scale up to the point where it looks just like the original image. So you want something that's fairly simple but not so high drama like that threshold. So I'm going to go ahead and choose four. I'd say anywhere between three and six is usually a good choice for this project. Then you can go ahead and collapse this. Now again we're going to right click or control click, create clipping mask with that so that it only applies to this portrait copy layer. Then of course because this is in color we also need to desaturate this and we can just do this with another adjustment layer black and white and it just looks like a box with black and white in it so we're going to click on that and it automatically can you know changes all of that to black and white and I'm actually going to go in and again create clipping mask by right clicking on that or control click create clipping mask and you know it's a clipping mask because you can see those little arrows that are pointing down all right, so now that we've gotten to this part, it's already starting to look fairly sketchy, uh, but we're gonna go back down to the bottom portrait layer, and I'm going to add a filter in my filter gallery. So I'm gonna go into filter gallery, and as you can see, we have some different options of kind of drawing styled filters. So you could do angled strokes if you wanted to. You could do, I'm gonna actually do cross hatch here. So let me find of want to find just a sweet spot where things are apparent that you're using kind of a, a drawing technique but it's not completely distorting it. So I'm going to take that up a little bit. It's looking pretty good to me so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And so now if we, um, let me take the visibility off of that and if we turn our filter gallery on we can see what we did. And then if I take that off you can see that that was the threshold layer before. Okay, so now we need to put all of these layers together. So we need to turn the visibility onto our, both of our portrait images here, our portrait layers. And I'm gonna click on the top portrait layer and set the blend mode here to multiply. 
And there you can see that now I have this kind of portrait look to, or this drawing look to my portrait. Um, now to really make that, to hit that home with uh, really making it look like a drawing, we're also going to add the crumpled paper layer. So I'm just going to turn the visibility on there, make sure I've clicked onto the paper layer, and then again go down and set it to multiply. And that's really it. Now if you want to brighten this up at all, you could add some curves and maybe go in and create you know, a lighter curve, or if you want to go in and manually adjust some of these curves, you can sometimes create more contrast or less contrast depending on what you want. But that's it. You can also uh, play around with your filters. You don't necessarily have to use crosshatch. You can try some different artistic filters to see what looks uh, the sketchiest and the best to you. So have fun with this experiment and make some fun drawing portraits. Okay.